What's going on people, welcome back to my personal channel and welcome back to another video for you guys today. It's yet another daily upload, I think this is the most consistent my channel has ever been. So if you guys are enjoying this sort of content, please don't forget to smash the like button. Let's try and hit 500 likes on this video. And while you're in the process of pressing buttons, please don't forget to press that subscribe button as well. Chelsea's hopes of signing Kai Havertz have been given a huge boost as Christian Falk has reported earlier today. He has said that Kai Havertz will tell Bayer Leverkusen that he wants to move this summer after Bayer failed to qualify for Champions League football. Now, Bayer uh, valued him at 90 million, whereas Chelsea were more looking at a 70 to 80 million valuation. So clubs are already very close in terms of negotiations and valuation. And Havertz's willingness to leave now also gives Chelsea more of an advantage in negotiations. So expect the valuation to probably go down by 10 or 20 million, or maybe we can even add a player to it and try and lower the transfer fee through that way. I know that Chelsea are trying to look at an instalment plan to try and push the deal through as quickly as possible. I think it's they want I think they want to do 70 million in upfront and the rest paid in instalments. And Havertz decided to leave is because Bayer have failed to qualify for the Champions League and we all know as Chelsea fans the allure of Champions League football, how much it can drag players in and make them more attracted to join your club and also how it can push players away from your club if you guys don't have Champions League football to offer. In the case of Kai Havertz, he doesn't have Champions League football to offer. And I think the re and another reason why I'm so confident in this deal actually happening is because I feel like Kai Havertz is making this decision to leave Bayer Leverkusen knowing that Chelsea is the best option for him. I mean, his three main contenders are Chelsea, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. In the case of Bayern Munich, they're already hoping that he re-signs for one more year because they've just signed Leroy Sané. And in the case of Real Madrid as well, they are not buying any more players until they spend any, especially in the attacking midfield department because they're already stacked with midfielders there. And they also have the possible return of Martin Odegaard to deal with as well. So in the case of Real Madrid, they already have a lot of attacking midfielders. So they already have a lot of quality attacking midfielders as well. So it might just be a case of this is a bit that they don't need to do right now. I think they also want him to hopefully re-sign for one more year. But I think that would have been a lot more likely if Bayer Leverkusen had Champions League football. Which they don't have now to offer. Which is why Havertz is now more likely to leave the club. And if he's more likely to leave the club, then let's be real. Everything is just pointing Chelsea's way. The valuation is close. He was already closely linked to Chelsea and as, the, as this transfer saga has progressed and progressed, all we've seen is more main contenders fall out and Chelsea have just fallen further and further into more acclaim for him. Now, other than Havertz, Lampard has prioritised signing a new left-back and I think in, the, in both aspects of getting a left-back and getting an attacking midfielder, make, getting top four is vital to it and, I, and in the case of Havertz, he already needs the guarantee that Chelsea have to be in the Champions League for next season. So Chelsea just needs to guarantee a top four spot in my opinion and this should be pushed over the line. I know if Chelsea get top four football, uh, what was it? We should be getting another 50 million going into Lampard's pocket for transfer negotiations. I mean, we already know how much money Roman Abramovich is willing to pour into Chelsea this summer already. And now we want to add another 50 million. I think the Morata money has also just come in a couple days ago as well. So Chelsea is swimming in cash. So in the case of this sort of deal, we're already very close to negotiations. I feel like Marina might try and work her magic and try and lo lower the deal a little bit more but other than that this deal looks like it's getting closer and closer. My only question is who is is what we're going to do for a left back as well because I know Frank Lampard still wants to get Ben Chilwell and Leicester City are holding out for a fee in the region of 70 million. Now I know I've said my opinions on Ben Chilwell Regardless of my opinions of Ben Chilwell, I still think he's better than both our left backs and he would still be a welcome addition to Chelsea. It's just for 70 million, it doesn't really sound that wise and I feel like there are better options for that price tag. And I feel like especially if you're trying to go for a player like Kai Havertz as well, you're really starting to stretch your transfer money a bit too much and I'm thinking we also want to go for a centre back as well. I'm thinking we need to try and be able to balance the books as much as we can. And I know Chelsea are going to be looking at trying to get rid of players as well to try and raise funds. I still think that we can do that. Marina is a master of getting players out the door for good prices. So I've got no doubts that we're going to get a decent amount of money for those players that we are going to sell. But 
that you also need to try and make the right signings. I feel like maybe if we could go for Tagliafico at a cheaper price, it would be a more frugal option for us. I'll be real, I'd like to see us keep Jada Silva, but it is what it is. And we're still in the position that we are in right now. I think if we end up selling a left back, it'll probably be Emerson, if we're being honest. I mean, Marcus Alonso has had his bad days, but when he has his good days, you, you don't hear anything else about it because the guy still produces an impact in terms of goals and assists. And the guy, in my opinion, is a better left wing back than Emerson is in the left back. Emerson had a great start to the season last season. But no, it's a great start to the season this season. But ever since he got that injury back in, I think, October or November, he's come back and he's never been the same player since. He looks shot of confidence. And honestly, I think time is just basically running out for Emerson. Uh, so it looks obvious that we are going to be looking for a left back as well. It's just a case of stretching our transfer money as much as we can. But Kai Havertz looks very, very close to being completed. Guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys are getting as confident as I am because I'm starting to get a lot more confident in this deal. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. Take care and we'll see you soon. Up the Chelsea.